Okay, this is just going to be about investigation of a short contig in whole genome sequencing data that's predicted to be circular. The sequencing was done using some long read sequencing technology, and the faster sequence came back, when you look down it, it was sequenced into just a short number of contigs. But one of them, as you can see here, predicted to be circular, so circular equals true. And that's quite interesting because uh, the thing that springs to mind is a uh, plasmid sequence. I wanted to investigate this further, so I had a quick look at this. So what I did was I copied the sequence of that contig and I pasted it like so. I then took the RAST annotation. So looking at RAST, I'd annotated the sequence from FASTA and you can see here contig2 that's the one that I'm interested in have a look there so that's all of contig2 there had a number of predicted genes in it according to the RAST annotation so just having a look at that these are the genes that are predicted for this contig here with that sequence I then went about making a visual copy of where those genes are in relation to that contig so from the RAST annotation the predict genes are here. So if I take this first part here, if you go on to Word, just search those bits of sequences, you see that's uh, the first part there. I predicted four genes here. So one, okay, this is the second one which I've highlighted in orange, which goes down to there. Third one, and then this final part here. So apparently this is a circular piece of DNA. What I did was I had a look at what that would look like should it be circular. So I put sequence information into DNA plotter and this is what the contig would look like. It's got that short piece of sequence at the beginning followed by quite a long gene and then two other ones here so four in total and it thinks this is circular. So according to this, this looks like one gene here that's been split, if you like, at this point here. So what I did was I took those two bits of sequence here. So you've got this part here and this part here. So looking at the RAST annotation, that would be this and this, because obviously this is circular, so it would go round to the beginning. So this would be the beginning part and this would be the end because this is on the plus strand. That's the start code on there. Predicted start code on, so ATG here. And then the stop code on for the gene is actually at the other end here. As you can see is uh, TAA there. So if you just put those two bits of sequence here, you can see the start code on for one, ATG, and the stop code on there. So is this one gene? That's the question. I took this, copied it, and put it into BLAST here. I searched against the nucleotide database here on NCBI and press BLAST search. When that had finished, I found that there was a hit, not a great number of hits, but there was a hit in one particular isolate. And here you can see the start code on ATG and the stop code on here. TAA but in this particular species it's predicted this to be one gene so that might strengthen the case for this actually being one gene and this being a truly circular piece of DNA. What I did then was I annotated that so in the linear form you can see it looks like this with the uh, short piece at the beginning two larger genes here and then this fragment here and then it us circular form like this so this is the predicted circular sequence it's quite an interesting thing to look at but sometimes these things aren't obvious especially when you have a genome that's sequenced into lots of fragments potentially some of these could be plasmid sequences so if they're not specifically identified as circular it's just another avenue for investigation